So if you've ever wanted to achieve a smoky eye during the day, but you don't want it to be too deep looking, this is what we're about to do. I'll give you some tips on how to do a daytime smoky eye. So first, I want to start with the lightest color in my palette. This color is actually called Bear, and the palette that I'm using is the Stila in the Light palette. We did prime her eyes. That is always the first step, but now I'm going to apply the lightest color to the top of the brow bone, and for this look, I'm actually gonna just continue to use the color all over the entire lid. I like to do this because it kind of gives a nice base to the eye to start out with. It evens out, so if you have any you know, darkness or veins that are showing through or unevenness, it's gonna um, smooth that out. So for this, I am gonna start with lighter colors and work to darker ones because it's a little bit easier to blend the dark into the light rather than light into dark. This next color from the palette is called Sunset. It's a brown color, but it's got a little bit of shimmer to it, but not too much. And I'm kind of starting, I'm just kind of tapping it in so that the shadow kind of sticks right into the lid. And I'm starting in the outer corner in the crease. I'm just kind of pretty much do this on the entire lid. All right, so that is the second color. Now I'm gonna add a little more definition with our next darker color, which is sandstone. It's a slightly darker brown, it's also matte, so we're gonna be getting a little more depth to the eye. If you can't really tell where the crease of your eye is, press on this little bone right here, and you'll kind of feel. So right where the bottom of the bone is, that's where the crease starts. Because a lot of times people don't have a very prominent crease. So this is how you'll know where it is on your eye. And you always want to remember to blend, so I'm going to be blending these colors downward. I'm also going to concentrate, I like the darker color on the outer part of the eye. I'm going to bring that down a little bit, connect it to the lash line. And I'm going to add a little more to the lash line, because we want it to look a little smokier. That's how we can achieve that. And now I'm going to add the brown liner. Uh, this one actually comes in the palette that I was using. It's really amazing, close for me. It's very waterproof, it's a twist up pencil, uh, goes on creamy, you can easily blend it. So remember to stay as close to the lashes as you can when you're applying this liner. You don't want any spaces between the liner and the lash line. Now I'm gonna use my smudge brush with the sandstone again, the darkest color in the palette, and just blend that right up just kind of working it upwards into the shadows that we've already applied. This is why it's nice if you want to do something with a little more definition on the eye to do the lighter colors first and then work darker. I'm gonna keep working it, this up into the crease a little bit again. I'm gonna just get a big brush and kind of sweep everything off that's fallen. And now I'm going to take a little bit of the brown underneath the eye, making sure to connect the top shadow and the bottom shadow. And you don't have to go all the way into the inner corner, but you can if you want. Gives it a little more of that smoky look. I'm gonna go back and use some of the lighter brown just to blend it together. Use a little sunset again. And I'm just basically blending the darker color down into the lighter colors. And now I will go back through and blend the top and the outer corners with uh, the lightest color and a nice fluffy blending brush. Really gives it a nice flawless finish. And if you want, you can even tap a little bit of shimmer, a little golden shimmer right on the top of the lid here. I like to do this, it really highlights the eye. So this is just a little bit of a golden color. You can kind of tap it in. And that is how to do a daytime smoky eye.